Hello everybody, my name is Davis, and welcome back to another severe weather breakdown. Now, uh, you're gonna have to excuse me today if I sound a little, uh, little sick, because I am a little sick, I'll be honest. But, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into our forecast for today, tomorrow, and even a little bit into Wednesday. So let's talk about this. Uh, today we got five different marginal risks of severe weather. We got one down here in the southeast, where today we saw some special weather statements, some special marine warnings, uh, a few severe thunderstorm warnings. But overall, this was not the craziest point of concern today. Uh, Louisiana, however, probably is, because, I mean, even right now while I'm filming this and while this is being uploaded, there are tons of severe thunderstorm warnings down in Louisiana right now for 60 mile an hour winds, uh, some small hail, so be sure to be on the lookout. We uh, have a marginal risk in Missouri here, because today we had a big line of storms, kind of a cluster of storms actually, moved down through Missouri. However, these were not that powerful, and they didn't really get any special weather warnings or anything, and uh, it did start to drift off into southern Illinois and Paducah, Kentucky region, but then it kind of fizzled out. Uh, and then we have a north risk up here in the High Plains, and I'm not really sure why there was a risk up here, because, I mean, maybe in the very early morning we saw a little bit of action, but, uh, I mean, in places like, uh, Colorado and Wyoming, there was nothing, so I'm not really too sure what that's about. But then down here in the southwest, we have a marginal risk for Arizona. That does include Phoenix, and that does include Tucson. And there were a lot of storms. Uh, some were even severe down here today, so good call. Now, since today is almost over, I'm not going to break down the specifics of these marginal risks. So we'll just go ahead and move on to tomorrow, where we have a slight risk of severe weather. So we've got three different marginal risks. We got one down here in the southeast. We got one in the Midwest to the uh, Central Plains region, and then we got one in North Dakota here, uh, and that does include a slight risk, so we'll go ahead and talk about that, but I want to start off by saying this southeast risk is partially here because there were some tropical uh, disturbances out here recently. Uh, there were some that had a slight chance of developing and heading towards this area. However, now it's not looking like that's going to happen, so this marginal risk might actually get removed or become smaller. Uh, and then we have uh, our marginal risk in the Central Plains and even goes into the Midwest a little bit with uh, Missouri and Iowa. These will just be some pop-up shower and thunderstorm activity. Very low chance that you'll see any severe thunderstorms and uh, should just be a pretty, uh, pretty rainy day in this region here. And then finally in the High Plains, we have our marginal risk and a slight risk. So tomorrow, if you are in the cities of Minot, Grand Forks, Fargo, or Bismarck, be sure to look out for some potential severe thunderstorms, maybe even a slight tornado risk, maybe some small isolated tornadoes. So let's go and break down the threats for tomorrow. We have no uh, tornado risk above 2% for tomorrow. That doesn't mean you won't see a tornado, or more likely a tornado warning, but it does mean that the chance of that is very low. Uh, then our damaging wind risk, which is driving a slight risk up here in the uh, High Plains region. We have a 15% chance to see winds of 60 miles an hour or higher, so if you're in this area, you need to watch out for that. Uh, and then we've got our hail threat, and as you can see, it's the exact same, but we don't have that southeast risk because uh, this kind of goes more into my tropical disturbance point because uh, usually hurricanes and tropical storms slash tropical depressions uh, don't bring as much of a hail threat as they do a wind threat, which is why there's no hail threat down here. So tomorrow, if you are in this area, be, I'd say, slightly weather aware, but, you know, you shouldn't see anything too ridiculous. And then here we are on Wednesday, where we have a marginal risk of severe weather up here in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Minnesota. Uh, there are, uh, has been some rumors that this will get moved down south a little bit more in the coming days, uh, potentially into uh, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. So the Midwest might need to be slightly weather aware on Wednesday. But yeah, that is it for today. There's not too big of a threat, really, for the next few days, but you still need to be watching out, especially tomorrow if you're in this region. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.